thank you everybody for joining us here at Hemo Stimix's channel. We have a special guest for you today, Mr. Nemo. We're going to talk to him about his experience with stem cells. Nemo, how are you doing today? I'm great. So Nemo, I was told you are a man that has a very, very good story to share with the world here. Tell me your story. I do. I do. And I want to share it with the world. And that's why I'm here today. What I got is I had a heart attack at 47 years old. And today, it's been 16 years today is my anniversary day. Congrats. That I had stem cells uh, done in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, what happened was uh, the heart attack happened. Uh, I find out later on that it took 12 hours to get to my uh, to get to me, and that's what caused a lot of damage to my heart at that time. They say half of it was dead. The outcome would be maybe a year to live, and uh, that was it. When I was told that, a couple tears came out. I said, well, walking out of his office, I can't let this happen. I got to find something to save myself. Mm -hmm. Little by little. I found some friends that did stem cells and uh, they knew about my, my situation yeah. and my heart. And uh, they said, uh, you got to go do this. And I right away, they gave me the number and an email address. I got on the computer that same night, looked mm -hmm. it up and they said, well, this looks great. Talked it over with the wife. So this is the only avenue out there. Stem cells is the way to go. And, uh, okay, the next day, I called the advocate, the number on the, that I had. It was an advocate. She, her name was Cher. She definitely pulled me in properly, convinced me, eased my thoughts. The whole experience of that part was so good, there was no way of saying no to it. She also... Uh, broke it down to where she got my results to show to their doctors then later on called me uh yes i'm a a, a candidate then she called me about the financing part of it how to send it and the situation of hoteling and everything so everything was super super smooth there's not even a flaw in it anyway okay after that get to bangkok and I'm uh, escorted from the airplane to the in a wheelchair all the way through the airports everywhere because I couldn't even walk. That's how bad I was. Yeah, I was almost bedridden at that time. The fly from the U.S. to Bangkok it's a long flight, mm -hmm. about thirty some hours, and uh, yes, it took a toll on me. But again, everybody took care of me. I didn't know if I could make it that far, but I did. And uh, they also took care of me in the one of the best hospitals they had, uh, Chopin Hospital. It was. That's the name of it, Chopin. Chopin. And uh, they were very careful with the stem cells since it was brand new, mm -hmm. brand new to them. I also wanted to let you know, they told me that I was the 57th patient in the world at that time to do stem cells. Wow. And, uh, and did I worry about that thought you know what my end result would be i'm dead anyway yeah. so i had nothing to lose and i went all the way for, with it and uh sure enough i took a doctor with me just to make sure we were secured and all that you're reminding you seven 16 years ago yeah and uh i'm alive today from that that's another thing i want to throw in i'm definitely alive and uh, I also wanted to say I work seven days a week every day for the last 10 years. And with heart conditions of mine, uh, it's impossible. But stem, wow. cells, did stem cells did it. Yes, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm curious then, like, how, how do you feel like, like it should not have been that difficult to, to find it? Like, essentially, the doctor said just like – your goose is cooked, Nemo. That's that's basically what you who the person you were supposed to go to that, that is supposed to be there to be like, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help you. Right. He told you right. your goose was cooked. 
one, I have faith. And two, I did, I've done so many great things in this world, in my eyes, that, you know what? Maybe he felt he needed to help me and brought these people to me. I don't know, but it happened. And uh, if I was anywhere in the world, maybe it wouldn't have happened. Mm-hmm. It's a moment. The right people talked to me. The right, everything was happening properly. Just the right scenario. And it made it work. And, uh, okay, once I was at the hospital, everything's done, appointments. Okay, now they pull some blood out of me, maybe a pint. Mm-hmm. They sent it off to Israel. Israel spun it off, did their thing, came back from four cells to five million new cells. So then they, right away, they told me that these cells got to go in my body within 24 hours after they received them. Because mm-hmm. time is of the essence, apparently. But anyway... And they did. It looked like everybody was watching me that day from up above. You know, I was the skeptical of the evening. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe 10 doctors in the operating room, they are all learning off of me. And I didn't mind. That was the whole thing. That if it works on me, then they can save a lot of people. Yeah. That was the whole gig of everybody being in that room that day. And, uh, okay, once they did that, they released me in 24 hours. They wanted to keep me just because uh, they cut me in the groin. Mm-hmm. Injection part was no problem. I saw it in the computer, filling my veins up with like blood or liquid, whatever that was. And uh, did I feel anything right away? Nothing real. Just satisfaction that I did it. Mm-hmm. Then by the time I got back to the U.S. within the next day or two or three, because I'm one of those guys, 24 hours, I'm done, I'm ready to go. Yeah. And I was, and I did. We got back the day after Thanksgiving. And next in this couple of days is Thanksgiving. So anyway, uh, I went there that day, and uh, I flew back. The doctor that I took with me, he checked me the day I went he has like a laboratory in Naples here too. Mm-hmm. He wanted his own machines checking me. And then when I got back that day, he checked me. The results were zero. No activity yet. Within two weeks, because I was now his guinea, mm-hmm. I didn't mind uh, being it. I was doing heart, what do you call those? Uh, stress tests? Test? Stress tests every two weeks for him. And uh, it got to be old after about five months, but I still did it. And uh, he was, the, after the first two weeks, he started seeing a little color going through my heart, part of it. And another two weeks went by, he saw more color. Two more weeks went by, quite a bit of color. Within three months, three month period, I was fully functioning. New tissue, wow. new blood vessels. Everybody was screaming in the office. I couldn't believe because we were all waiting on this to see it happen, the stem cells working. They did, and they did, like I say. Then I started feeling great, real great, to where I have a device in my chest, a defibrillator. Mm-hmm. Defibrillator is starting to go off because I'm starting to move a little too fast and everything's oh, no. going on, and it went off maybe 10 times. Then I had to have him shut it off. Yeah. They shut it off. And after that, it's been off all this time. Dr. Plunkett, a big, big doctor in Naples here. Mm-hmm. He's the one that did the defibrillator. But he also said I have to show the universities to see if these stem cells work. And for real, or is it a placebo effect? Well, after all the studies they did, they said, his heart's fine. <laughs> so unbelievable. That blows my mind, honestly, that this was happening six, in, the, in the modern day now. This isn't something that's happening in mass. It should be happening in mass. This should be the standard, I would imagine, right? But you think I've tried to do for the last 16 years, try and push, talk, everything. It ain't going to happen. I had a senator speak at my restaurant mm-hmm. about stem cells. He said it will never pass because the pharmaceuticals own uh, or the the medical owns the pharmaceuticals or whatever, one way. Yeah. And they'd rather pay the lobbyists so that this will never pass. 
and it's cheaper that way. And we, otherwise we'd be hurting the medical world in, in their pocket. Multiply me times millions of people that have heart problems, all kinds of diseases. That's what they're saying. You're going to hurt them in the billions. Yeah. And a lot of it was, I just don't think they knew how to put a price on uh, your own blood. Because really the medicine is your own blood. In that same regard, you talk about the, the costs and the values and all that. But at the end of the day, as you said, you're back to being, you're chipper and full of energy. You entered that in a wheelchair. And now you're how many years later working seven days a week? I would say that pays off in spades to the society as a whole to have you around. And it does. I joke about it. I say it's worth the investment. I was taking a loan off my house to pay this 50 grand that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that loan of 50 grand, I'm into four to five million today. So the investment of five grand keeping me alive was worth four or five million to keep me around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm saying like that. But that's the joke. I say, wow. You know, I, I wouldn't made that money anyway if uh, I would have been dead. So yeah, I mean, money money's an abstract an abstract concept. But your health is very real, and uh, you, you're not something you can turn off and turn back on again when you have enough money to to pay the bill, right? So <laughs> once it turns off, it's a problem. So the goal is to keep it on. You're off. So I spent just a try, and that's what my wife said. I'd rather have you around anyway. I said, keep this fifty, bury me. She says, let's try it we have nothing to lose but the money so we did and there you go success is all done stem cells works um i want to i always tell people i believe god put the cure in us just like when you cut yourself you heal yeah i say it. and then uh, those cells but if we're a little old and if you pull four or five cells and make new ones out of them that's fresh blood going into your system and it'll fix anything inside you as long as they know where to put it how long to do it where to do it i mean that's what it takes on the science mm -hmm. now they know that they've always known we we're cured with a cut or whatever always but today they can what do you call that exacerbate it more by growing it putting it in our system keeping us healthy i also wanted to say I really haven't been sick in 16 years. The other day, I was supposed to do this interview, mm -hmm. and I don't know why I got so dizzy. Overall, everything was a great, great, great experience. One of the best I've ever had in hospitals. Mm -hmm. Am I in and out of them? Of course. Disfibrillator, heart attack, broken hip. I'm wired together. Change my defibrillator, whatever. I mean, so many ping pong pronging me. And uh, I didn't mind, but what am I saying? I'm just, I went through hell. Yeah. And I'm so glad that I'm okay. Also, part of this, uh, they also said at the hospital that I had such a great attitude that part of that is like, uh, this, like making sure, my, I don't want to say I'm faking it by, uh, uh, mm -hmm. um, my attitude was so good that it made them feel great to work on me and uh, the cells seemed to want to work on me. Uh, their inspiration was just so high that we we're all good. With, uh, that's what you almost have to have is what I want to say. You do. I agree. If you go in there with a down out thought of this ain't going to work and that and that, it probably won't because you're just too down about it. And you don't want it to work and nobody wants to make you work on it. I, they always say you've got to have a good attitude. You got to want it if you really want to do this. Hey, I'm telling you, folks, stem cells works, and it really does unbelievable stuff. Fountain of youth. You got to have that. The fountain of youth. Look, I also tell everybody now. I'm like the preacher. I'm saying, guys, anything we can fix today. That's the name of the game. The heart. The the head. The lungs, everything, gangrene. Even I say this doesn't work, it's okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come on. Is there anything else you want to add before we go about your trip? Well, I don't know if I covered it all. Basically, the story was uh, I took the chance. It, it cured me. They say don't use the word cured, but I don't know what else to say. Maybe uh, 
in my mind, I'm not a medical man, but definitely I feel super healthy. My heart's been functioning perfect all this time. My injections were on a 42, which is great. It was down to 28 in the beginning. Uh, I'm just saying, hey, this is the way to go. This is it. This is the new era of medical treatment, stem cells. I'm telling you guys, Hemostemics is going to be a great company. I can't wait because I know I'm going to need them down the road again. Thank you, Nemo, for your time. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to send them over. And, of course, have a wonderful day and a great Thanksgiving weekend, Nemo. Thank you. Thank you.